An Albuquerque mother whose baby was murdered by his father wanted something special to remember her son, but the keepsake that she ordered to hold his ashes was stolen, not during a car or a home break in. In this case, it appears the thief may have pulled a fast one on the postal worker. News 13's Brittany Bade has that story. This is great. I have a ton of pictures in here. Yawning. I love that one. This is the only way April Sanchez will ever know her baby boy. Through pictures that were supposed to be just the beginning of their life together. I was very blessed with him. He was going to be the only man I ever needed. And now he's gone. Ten week old Felix Phillips was killed by his father, Spencer Phillips, in 2015. And all I did was go to work. I had a four hour shift. And he couldn't watch him for four hours. Investigators believe Phillips purposefully hit his son's head, causing severe and ultimately fatal injuries. It was so severe, his head blew up like an alien head. It was so, I mean, it was so abnormal. It was full of blood. His eyes were full of blood. There was no coming back. Looking for ways to honor and remember Felix. I found this company it's called Artful Ashes. Sanchez ordered a custom starfish that would have his ashes embedded inside. It had so much significance that it was going to, I already knew where I was going to display it. Sanchez got a notification saying it was delivered on Saturday, but she hadn't heard a knock, much less signed for any package. She went to the post office only to discover the postman may have been tricked. And I guess he saw someone on the sidewalk? or in my driveway, and they claim to be my sister, a relative, and I'm an only child. So they signed for it, and they took the package. The post office claims whoever the fake sister really is had pulled into the driveway and showed an ID with the last name Sanchez to the mailman. They are now launching an investigation into what happened. With her baby's ashes now gone. Let's try to find it. It's gone. Sanchez is hoping whoever has them will give her back what little she does have left. And this happy little face. Of her forever baby boy. It's devastating. Absolutely devastating. Brittany Bade, KRQE, News 13. Late tonight, we've learned postal inspectors have found a person of interest in this case, but the package is still missing. The post office also says that mail carrier has been reassigned. If you have any information about where Felix's ashes may be, head to krqe.com for contact details.